Napa Recycling and Waste Services provides the city of Napa, California and the surrounding area with efficient, economical and sustainable recycling and waste management services. The challenging nature of manual sortation and higher turnover affects staffing at many MRFs, including Napa. And this recovery was another challenge. Napa trained its sorters to identify the most common types of plastic, but the material stream is constantly changing. These challenges led Napa to explore AI and robotics. The MRF installed its first AMP Cortex Intelligent Robotic System in 2019. Today, Napa has three AMP robots in its facility, installed sequentially on the same residue line. With robotics, Napa is increasing recovery and extracting more value from the material stream. With the addition of its third robot in particular, the MRF is capturing a new material like polypropylene that previously went to landfill. Polypropylene recovery is one of the largest and fastest growing revenue opportunities for MRFs today. Robots have um, enabled us to actually increase the amount of certain types of um, bottles and cans that we actually recover. So we figured out by just looking at the data that, that you know, before we had robots, we were actually missing a significant amount of these containers just because it was hard for the people to pull them all. And we found that we've actually been able to get more of these materials, more of the HGPE and the PET and the other um, products that we're sorting, which those, those are actually materials that are worth money to us, and then we're also producing the amount of material that we send to the landfill. So it's been really successful for us in getting more recyclables out of that stream and being more efficient at sorting. Napa also values the robotics consistency and flexibility. Robots can multitask and target a variety of materials. They allowed Napa to shift the focus of its human sorters to easy to identify contamination. One of the great flexible things about robots is you can have them sort different materials. In fact, we have robots, we switch back and forth on what they're sorting. They can sort you know, four different types of materials. So you, you can have them sorting the PET, the different types of HTPE, milk and aseptic cartons, um, polypropylene, all these things that we have them sorting. You can kind of set it up so that they're pulling the things most effectively. So if it makes sense for the first robot in our line of robots to be pulling one type of thing, you just switch it to that. Um, and as new products come online, I mean, one of the things about recycling is you're always seeing new packaging. Right? It's always changing over time. Um, you can quickly teach the robot that that is a material that it should or shouldn't pick. Napa is starting to tap into the vast potential of data and material characterization and recycling. Future planning, facility enhancements, higher material capture rates, and improved purity all start with a solid understanding of the composition thresholds in a facility. We're always looking for information and, and different stats and different numbers about how the recycling is going. And the robots keep all that. You can look at it, you can see what they're picking, what they're missing, what's going past it. Um, it gives us a lot of data that we didn't necessarily have before. And it was a lot of anecdotal stuff when we'd say, hey, we think this is happening. There's more of this type of material in the waste stream than there was before. Recycling sorting is a tough job for people. I mean, it's repetitive. It's loud, it can be dirty in there. And um, the robots have really helped kind of with that portion of the job and let us deploy our human sorters into jobs that are really great for human brains, um, more complexity, um, and kind of different tasks associated with it. And so it's, they fit in really well. And, you know, I always say it's like, it's robots and people, right? You can have one or the other to be able to operate a successful recycling facility.